just your sets it is me in something other than a pink jumper <laughs> i thought i would try and be a little bit christmassy today as it's my last vlog and i wanted to try on my christmas dress because i've lost two and a half stones since last year so i just wanted to check that it still fits it kind of does because it was always a bit tight anyway so it just fits a lot better now and i've got lots of room in it for Christmas Day so that's a bonus. <laughs> I've even got some makeup on. I know, it's unheard of. So um, it's going to get busy here this evening because once again the football's on. Today I have uh, finished some sausage rolls so that's it for cooking now, everything's done. I've set up the one main table in the living room and I filmed a bit of that to show you. And we've just got the other one to set up in the conservatory. The light's up now, the boys have been doing that today. So um, tomorrow I'll just have to get the extension table out and it's gonna flow through into the conservatory for the other three people. Um, I don't want to do that too soon because it'll be cold with the door open. So that's, that's a big relief, that's all ready and it's looking all pretty. My lovely glasses are out. Um, they frighten me every year when I get them out because they have huge sentimental value. I think you would have seen them. Um, yeah, they, they just hold a lot of sentiment for me. And so I'm always quite scared to get them out and I'm quite happy when they get put away. <laughs> so I hope everybody's ready. Um, really just wanted to come on here really and finish really by saying thank you all so much. I know I've said it in lots of my vlogs but thank you all so much for your lovely comments, your likes, your subscribes. Um, you can't know how much it means. It means the world. Um, for me, I've never had much confidence. I think it, it grows from being a little girl. I was quite... Um, bullied at school shall we say and I think that takes you through to adulthood doesn't it so to do something like this has really pushed me out of my comfort zone but having turned 50 this year I just thought no I'm not gonna let it hold me back anymore and I'm gonna you know get on in and do things that I want to do because you know slowly running out of time so let's not be frightened to do, to do things that we want to do Let's not let us hold 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 us back through life, really. Um, but your your comments, they've all been so lovely, and they've kept me going through. I can't believe I've I've got up to the twenty third. So Christmas Eve tomorrow, can't believe it. Where where have those days gone? It's ridiculous. <laughs> so yes, we're all done, and I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, it's going to get busy later, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. The boys are around for football again. Football's on later. So I'm getting um, banned from the living room. <laughs> well, I can say stay and watch if I want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm going to take my basket of knitting and go upstairs and sit on the bed, do some knitting, and catch up with all your lovely vlogs. Um, I just wanted to say a special thank you, really, to um, Gaina from Tales from Cuckoo Land for being there at the end of the messages when I've needed some encouragement or when I was having a little wobble. Thank you so much Gaina, you're, you're wonderful, a wonderful friend to have at the end of a message. And also Jules from So Sweet Violet because again she, she's always there and at the end of a message and has given me um, the encouragement and you know again when I was having a bit of a wobble it's been nice to text them ladies and for them to to get my channel heard as well so thank you so much for that um that's it really so um i won't be here tomorrow um it's so busy tomorrow so i i, I don't know how i'd ever find time but if there's anything to film of any interest i will get my camera out and maybe um Put a little catch up after Christmas, um, a few snippets of what we got up to. It's really weird outside, it's, it's just getting dark and there's the most strange sky, it's, it's really red. <laughs> so we've had a few days of that, I don't know what that means, does it mean bad weather? It's really really weird. So yes, 
um, thank you for the, from the bottom of my heart. It absolutely means the world to me that you've all been so um, lovely in your comments. Um, I just wanted to say, I know it's a bit mushy, but I just wanted to finish with a, a little prayer just to, to make sure that you all have a lovely Christmas. So it's not for everybody. So if you don't want to hear it, switch off now. <laughs> but um, if you do, stay tuned. It's, it's only a, a, a little one. So may the blessing of joy abide within you. May the blessing of peace rest upon you. May the blessing of love flow out through you. May all the blessings of the Lord be yours at Christmas and in the new year. And I will see you in the new year. Um, it's probably going to be towards the end of the new year, um, the end of January, because I've not done any knitting. I'm still doing the shawl, so <laughs> I've got lots to do. Um, and I hope you all have such a wonderful Christmas, however you're spending it with your friends, your family. Um, have a wonderful Christmas and New Year and lots of love from all of us. I'll just see if Bilbo wants to come in and have a quick goodbye. He knows Santa's on his way. No, I'm going to say goodbye. No. no. <laughs> Here he is. So lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.